Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Sagittarius. Okay, so balance, which is your energy. So you guys should, an ego. I'm getting that you're getting your ego in check, Sagittarius. It's like someone here has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening because you're stepping into your energy at, at its fullest here with balance. So you're finding peace within, you're finding peace uh, within your life as well. The relationships in your life, um, whatever you're doing as well. I definitely am just getting like you feeling overall like things are coming into balance for you. Yeah, you're stepping out of this false sense of entrapment here, being overly focused on material things. So some of you guys could have been stressing over whether you could afford this or that, um, negative or fear-based thoughts. This is the energy that you're walking away from and everything is coming into balance for you. With here, the need for balance and moderation, uh, cooperation and compromise, way for perfect timing. I definitely am getting like you just being at peace with where you are in life and moving away or moving out of that uh, ego energy here. Let's see. The current blockage for you is the chariot. Also the queen of uh, cups. You guys also need to make sure that you're, um, you're acknowledging the way you feel in certain situations and you're honoring the way you feel in certain situations when, whenever the queen of cups shows up. Unless you know that you need to honor the way you feel in any sort of situation or just in general. With the chariot here, quite possibly what they're what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups and the Chariot here, because the chariot is that energy of someone being on a mission. Someone being on a mission, not allowing room for any distractions. Also, the chariot talks about driving your own vehicle. I don't mean literally here. I mean in life. So not allowing someone else to drive you to your destination because they're not going to drive you to your destination. They're going to drive you to theirs. And maybe that's something that you're beginning to realize. But it looks like you still find it challenging in some situations to honor the way you feel and to trust where you're being guided to go. It looks like you may, some of y'all may seek validation or confirmation um, constantly and the universe is wanting to use to trust your spirit guys or to tr trust your spiritual team a little bit more here let's see what's the energy coming towards Sagittarius four of wands stability also support knight of wands things going better than you are expecting as well um, I'm getting that you're stepping out of this energy of just having so much going on at once and with the Four of Wands, you'll find yourself in a very stable place where you feel loved and supported by a community of people. Um, so wh wherever your head is, Sagittarius, because it looks like some sudden movement or some sudden change is taking place in your life. The Knight of Wands is a very fast energy. It's like all of a sudden it's, it's these events um, take place and it, it required immediate attention from you. So it's like you had to act on something pretty fast here. But whatever you're acting on, it's like things are going very well for you. And with the Four of Wands, you'll have a lot of stability in this situation. And also a lot of support. Alright, what is the energy Sagittarius is being guided away from? Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. The Ace of Cups, when it's, when it's in this shadow energy, it basically talks about suppressing some emotions and suppress them to the point where they come to a head, where it's like you can't suppress anymore. It's boiling over at this point. And with the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands um, in the shadow side talks about a lack of progress, waiting for things to get going. 
So you're coming out of this energy. It's like, I don't know, maybe you guys have been holding back until it was the right moment, but it looks like things are about to start moving. Like things are picking up speed here. Let's see, let me dive a little bit more into your energy. Three of Pentacles. You're working on something. Six of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. You guys are paying off debts. Um, some of y'all may end up working somewhere new here. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Being a team player as well. I definitely am getting that there's something that you're working on here. It looks like you will be receiving some sort of gifts, whether it's just from the universe because of your hard work, you're being rewarded financially for it. Some of y'all will find yourself in like this new position at work or a new job just in general, where you're able to pay off your debt instead of like accumulating more debt. It's quite, uh, quite possibly wherever you're, you're working or you were working, it wasn't, you weren't making enough to pay off debt or to live a very stable life here. Let me get some more. I definitely am getting like your finances are going to be looking good. Sagittarius, Ten of Cups. Feeling truly blessed and happy to live the life that you're living. Things are working out very well for you, Sagittarius. Two of Wands. I definitely am getting like right now you may be at this crossroads. Not sure which path to take. I'm getting that you know which path to take because the energy coming towards you is very stable. And it's very promising too. It's, a, and it's, it's an exciting energy here. But I definitely am getting a Sagittarius who's on the verge of starting a new adventure in their life, a new chapter in their life. It's exciting times ahead for you, whoever this is for. Let's see who's currently focused on you at this time. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone from the past because this is someone where seeds have been planted in this connection already. Maybe there's been unnecessary worry as well. There was a temporary pause in action between the two of you. Page of water, yeah. I'm not getting that it's a new person, but I definitely am getting like quite possibly you guys um, may end up in a relationship. This person could want to apologize for something. Some of you guys, you just may have this crush. And maybe you met them in the past. You never knew that they were interested in you romantically. Yeah, with the page or with the Ace of Swords, this person wants to be honest with you. They want a breakthrough in communication. I definitely am getting like this person reaching out to communicate with you. I'm also getting like they feel more stable in life as well. This is someone who's very structured and disciplined. They may be in a leadership role as well. Let's see. How else will Sagittarius know who this person is? Knight of uh, Swords in the tent. Some of you guys may have felt like there was a missed opportunity with this person. And you may have felt like things came to a very uh, disappointing end. Because I'm getting that you were really excited about this connection with this person. When things ended, it was just very disappointing for you. I'm getting like, you guys can expect to hear from this person quite possibly sooner than you would expect. Because I am getting that they have taken time to carefully review their options to see which path they wanted to take or course of action they wanted to take. And it looks like now things are about to occur with great speed, with great speed. Some creative solutions here with the Knight of Swords. Someone who's very intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Some of y'all may have felt like when you met this person, they swept you off your feet. If you're a masculine energy, energy then it looks like this person felt this way about you. Let me get a little bit more. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. I definitely am getting like they want this difficult situation between the two of you to come to an end. They're very attracted to you. They view you as someone who's very confident, warm, intelligent, graceful as well. Um, 
But yeah, they're very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands is this very attractive energy. Someone who manages things very well in their life. Like, you'll never see the Queen of Wands sweat. Um, despite, like, how, how... No matter how hard you see her working, you'll never see her, you know, sweat. So, someone is very attracted to you. And they, they admire you as well, is what I'm getting. Let's see. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Page of Fire and the Five of Fire. Why the Five of Fire? I'm getting like the energy that you're surrounded by right now is very conflicting. Um, you may be around some people who like to compete with you or maybe some people have been causing some issues for you. But with the Page of Fire and Page of Wands, I'm getting that you have some good news coming towards you. Some of y'all are uh, moving or you're just on this new adventure here. I'm getting like a new adventure very strongly for someone. I definitely am getting this energy of you moving away from something that's toxic and moving towards this exciting new energy. Yes, it's a life experience for you. I'm also getting like someone may find themselves celebrating something after working hard on something here. Let me get a couple more messages for you and we'll close this out. Spring. Some of you guys by spring, uh, you'll see these changes taking place in your life. Crossroads. Yeah, some of you guys are currently at a crossroads right now trying to follow your intuition. You may be confused with all the choices that you have. With deception. Why deception here? I'm getting that you're just very cautious. Like you're you're cautious about being deceived by your own intuition or by someone else here. I'm not getting like it's someone that you're worried about uh, deceiving you. You're just worried about um, going the wrong path is what I'm getting. Like you're hyper focused on it. Forgive and sacred journey. You are on the sacred journey. Someone does. I'm getting that it's this past person here and this past person does soulmate. Some of you guys may view this person. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I definitely am getting like this person has a lot of regret. They want you to forgive them for something. Some of you guys may also want this person to forgive you as well. But this is someone that you consider a soulmate. Like you feel like you and this person have a deep spiritual connection here. So quite possibly this was just like a part of you all sacred journey. Like you met this person, the seeds were planted you had to allow this relationship to bloom on its own and you guys just went your separate ways while you worked on whatever issues you guys need to work on individually here. But I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.